Oh, fish on. Let's go. What is it? Alrighty, guys. So, I'm actually in Ohio right now. I used to live here. I'm in Cincinnati, but I used to live here. But, mm -hmm. um, there's like this little pond right here. So, I'm going to do some fishing. Um, actually, Aiden just caught a bass on a little crappie jig. So, already off to a good start. But, um, yeah. So, stay tuned. Alright, so I'm just fishing with this little goby. Little tiny crankbait. Alright, first cast. Oh, fish on. Wait, I think so. Yeah, fish on. Yep. I'm a Sanka worm. Dude, nice. It's first cast in the Sanka worm. Nice guys, little bass in the first cast in the Sanka worm. Oh, I just had a hit. Fish on. Dang, I'm gonna have to change my bait. I have another Senko if you wanna fish it. Yeah. Another little large mouth on the, on the Senko. Got one. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a way nicer one. Dude. Bro, did a fish literally just take my lure? Alrighty guys, before I play the next clips, I just wanted to explain like what happened there. So basically, Aiden caught a fish, he got a bass, and I went to unhook it, and I set my rod down on the dock, and like my Senko worm was just like dangling in the water. I guess like a bass or something came up and take, took it, like literally, I wasn't even standing by my rod, like maybe like a few feet away from my rod. All of a sudden, my rod tip, or my whole rod just goes into the lake, and I try to grab it like in the clip you just saw. But then, in this picture that I'm going to show right here, I'm over here, I take my shirt off, and I'm trying to wait for it, like, just feel with my feet and stuff. Don't find it. So, that kind of sucked. But then, a few days later, we went there, and I was catfishing with a bluegill head. I went to recast, because I wasn't getting anything in a while. I literally hooked, I felt like some weight, and I pulled it up, and I thought it was a stick at first, but then I looked, like, just a little bit more closely. It was my rod. I hooked my rod in the middle of the lake with a bluegill head. Like, literally, the chances of that were so low. But I was so happy to catch that thing. Like, that was better than catching a fish. It was crazy. I don't even know how it happened. But, yeah, so, on to the next clips. Alrighty, guys. So, it's actually the next morning right now. Um, But I'm out here fishing this other little pond. And I fished this before. This was actually my first video. This was, I recorded my first video here. But, uh, now it looks a lot different. Like, this part of the pond is all covered in lily pads. That's not covered in lily pads. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and catch some bass. There's, like, bass in here. There's crappie. There's bluegill. I've seen a grass carp in here, but I'm not fishing for that. But yeah, so um, stay tuned. All right, first cast. Fishing a little jig right now. That's a lot of geese that just came in. Alrighty guys, so now I got a little crappie jig on because I was not getting any really hits on with bass. I tried to like quick bait, a crank bait, um, old jig. I didn't get anything, so I'm gonna try and just catch like a crappie or a bluegill or something. Maybe I'll catch a bass in the whole crappie jig though, I don't know. Oh guys, I'm getting a little hit from bluegill. I'm gonna get down to that little dock. I think that's probably some bluegill, maybe some crappie down at the dock. I could see the bluegill. He was like looking at my bobber too though. Oh, I just had a hit. Nice to two. Oh, I'm getting a hit. Oh, fish on. Oh, I watched him take it too. Little bluegill. Not super bright or anything, but first of the day, little bluegill. The pole crappie jig was like a little bit too big so i literally took a chunk out of it and just basically had a tail on a little bait hook and i put a slip shot for like weight and just put it all the way down by the hook i got one on that and i think it hooks them well too so it's good Put fish on oh a bigger one too uh, not that big much bigger sweet oh he got out let's see if we can get a bluegill or a crappie i really want to catch a crappie Almost even, probably more than a bass, to be honest. Oh, fish on. What is it? Oh, I think it's a crappie. It is a crappie. 
Let's go. It's kind of a small crappie, but sweet. Let's go, guys. Crappie. Just a little guy, but. All right, sweet. Let's catch another one. Oh, oh I, had, I had a bite. Oh, fish on. Let's go. What is it? Oh, it's another crappie. Sweet. For a second, I thought it was a bass. Nice. Look at that fish, guys. I'm going to caught two bluegill and two crappie so far. Fish on. Oh, wait. Why is... Oh, my thing's tangled. Oh, there we go. Wait. No, my... Literally, my reel is so tangled. What even happened? All right, let's see. Oh, no, it's a built bluegill. Actually, it's a really nice bluegill for here. Yeah, it's actually a nice bluegill, too. All right, so look at that bluegill. Sweet. Look how pretty that is. It's got, like, yellow belly and stuff. Oh, I got a fish. Looks like another little bluegill. Sweet, tiny little guy. That'd be like perfect for catfish bait. It's kind of pale, but little baby bluegill. Fish on. Another bluegill? There he is. Fish on. Another little bluegill. Oh, he came off. All right, I'm gonna try fishing here for a minute. Oh, fish on. Little tiny bluegill. Oh my gosh, guys, I wasn't even recording. That's so annoying. But this thing, look how big this bluegill is. That's such a nice one. That's awesome. Look how bright that is. Look at that blue. That's why they call him a bluegill. Look at that bluegill. That's cool. It's in real. That's probably the biggest of the day. Biggest bluegill of the day. All right, guys, so I thought that was a pretty fun day. Look at the lake we're in. Look at all these lily pads and stuff. It's so cool. Bass, crappie, bluegill. Uh, but yeah, so I thought that was really fun. In that other pond, we caught like a couple bass and then... Um, it, my friend Aiden caught a uh, bluegill. Nice, pretty nice bluegill, actually. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.